Hi, everybody. So I'm Lisa Larson, and I teach Tarot. And in fact, I'm going to be teaching a beginning intermediate Tarot class in about three weeks on June 22nd. It's going to be online via Zoom. So if you're interested, I will put the link down in the uh, description. But the last time I taught a class, I remember looking around and looking for a flip through that compared the Pam, Pamela com, uh, commemorative set and the Pam's vintage tarot, which I didn't find. So I thought maybe I would do a flip through for you guys. So as you see, Pam's commemorative set comes with this nice bag. I actually bought it in this full set, which comes with a book and the bag. Uh, it comes with a, um, let's see, it comes with the pictorial key to the tarot and it comes with a bag and all of that stuff. Now, I, I bought this when it was very, very early and um, so this was the only way to get it, but I think now you can buy it just as, as a single deck. I would t tell you though, it's probably um, best to not buy the borderless one because I did look at a wonderful flip through when somebody compared this deck to the borderless one that they sell and there was something it looked like they had just they had just um taken the borders off instead of resize the cards so that the perspectives were off a little bit so i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest that but this is a beautiful deck it's uh, supposedly the coloring that should be the most original to um, Pam's original artwork and color. And in fact, there's another deck called the original Tarot. I'm gonna pause this for just a second and go get that deck. Okay, I'm back. And just for reference, this is the original it's called the original Rider Waite. And I'm not gonna be doing a flip through on this one. I'm gonna be doing these two today, but um, just so that you understand the difference. I'm not really fond of these too much. They are, if you can see, they're really glossy, which I'm not really fond of. And they have kind of a green tinge to them. Everything has a green tinge to them. So I'm, I'm just, I, I think they were trying to go for what this deck actually is, but they just didn't didn't do a good job at it. I don't know. Some people may really like this deck, and you know that's that's fine. But um, but just so you understand, there's a difference between the commemorative deck and the original deck. So, like I say, you probably can get the commemorative deck in just like a regular box like this or a tin, I'm not sure, but um, this, this commemorative set is how I bought it. So, okay, so I'm going to be um, looking at that one, which I just absolutely love. And I'm also going to look at the Pam's Vintage Tarot. And this is uh, a deck which is, it's a limited edition. This I believe is the second, this is the box to it. This is the second edition, I believe. Um, although I will say that I thought the second edition didn't have this little curly cue up in the, the corner, which I really love on these. I don't know if you can see them. And then this one is the best to see it there. It's like a little curly cue right there. But, um, but this 
is more of a, a vintage look. Okay, and these, like I said, this is a limited edition. You can only get it at a couple of little card shops online. And um, I absolutely love both these decks. Uh, I wanted to show the difference between the two because both of them are meant to be as close to uh, the original Pam coloring as possible. Now, before we get started too, I just want to let you know that both of these decks have, um, both of these decks have smaller cards. They have the playing size cards, the playing size deck. So there's the difference in the, the size. So this is just a little hand deck which in, of the vintage, which I just love. I actually use these um, deck size cards a whole lot more than I do the, these decks. I don't, the, these are still pretty stiff because I don't use them that much. Um, and then this other deck, the, this one comes also in a nice little tin and backs are the same um, and a little bit, maybe a little bit brighter, uh, but still have that nice uh, aged feel to them. But again, that's a, a nice small hand sized deck that comes in a nice little tin. So just so you know that both of these decks come in, in uh, playing card size. All right, so let's get started. Let's take a quick look at these guys. So like I say, this is the commemorative deck and this was um, made to look as close as possible to Pam's um, coloring. The backs are gorgeous. I absolutely love the backs of these as with the uh, rose that's on the death card and Pam's signature. And the cards are nice, pretty good stock. They're not too glossy. They've got kind of a matte finish, but nice, nice thick stock. These cards, uh, I, I am so in love with these cards. The vintage cards, this is the back. Again, they have the lilies and the rose, kind of a, kind of a rose there. Um, and the, what I love about these two, and I don't know if you can see this too much, but this is a real linen look to it. It's, it's, it's got a linen, it doesn't have a sheen. It's a linen feel, you can feel it. The cards are nice. They're not quite as thick as these ones are, but they've got that linen feel to them, which I absolutely, absolutely love. So, uh, Obviously one's bordered, one's not, but I'm really looking at the colors now, which I love. And, and this deck here comes with a couple of extra cards of Pam's. It comes with this one and this one, which are beautiful, which I just stick them in there and use them as extra cards if they come up. And the small vintage deck, um, comes actually with nine of those extra cards. Oops, sorry for shaking that thing. Um, nine extra cards, I don't, I don't have them in there right now, but uh, so just so you know, but they're, they're kind of nice to, I, I think this is just a beautiful, I think that's a beautiful card that I can read and that's kind of nice. That's a little bit interesting with the skulls down here and the stars and the sun and I don't know, I kind of look at these at yods almost. They they're part of the, seem like they're part of the sun, but I almost kind of look at them as, as yods. So anyway, okay, so flip through. We'll start going through these puppies. So you can see, let's see, get them here. Okay, here's the fool. Magician. High Priestess. I just love this one here. And you see there's a little bit more of a ground under her there. 
than there is on this one. And also you'll notice, well, when we get to the minor arcana, these don't have numbers. They do on the major arcana, but on the major arcana, they don't have the names of the cards. So you see that, okay, we have the Empress down here. We don't have that down here. The Emperor. The Hierophant. Lovers, the chariot, strength, oops, hermit, wheel of fortune, justice. Hangman. Death. Oops, where did I get the, where did I get those mixed up? Hang on. Death. Temperance. Devil. Tower. Star. There's the moon. The sun. Judgment. The world. And then we get to the minor arcana, and again, you see that the aces don't have the the um, name down here, but these also don't have the numbers on the vintage deck. Okay, there's your aces. And again, you can see these beautiful little curly cues on this vintage deck. I don't know if, uh, if I accidentally got the original or not. And there are flip throughs that will show the difference between the first edition and the second edition. And swords. Let's clean this up a bit. And you see both of them have the Pam's little signature down here. Oops, did I get those mixed up again? There we go.
I just like the look. Uh, I, I, I love this. It makes me feel like I'm kind of involved in the card. I'm not separate from it. I'm not looking at it. It feels like I'm in it. Now, and I wouldn't be able to tell you, I'm not, I'm not really versed on Pam, uh, A, B, C, and D. So I wouldn't be able to tell you what this one is and what this one is. But, you know, if I look, I, it looks like, you know, there might be a slight difference in here. And now if I would say that there's some kind of difference in here at all, it would be, you know, maybe there's a difference between the A and the B and the C and the D, which again, I am not well versed in. But again, there's plenty of things on YouTube where they will educate you on that. And last but not least, the wands. That's another one where I kind of wonder if there's just a slight difference if one is, you know, an A, B, C, or D, and the other one is another one, you can kind of see a little bit difference in the head there. And if any of you out there are familiar with that, and you can recognize the difference between those, I'd love to have you put it in the comments so that I know. And there you have it, the difference between the Pam commemorative set deck and the Pam vintage deck. Now I will, again, just give you a, a slight look at, here's the small vintage deck. You can see that it's very similar. the hand size, but interesting. I don't think the hand size one have those little curly curly cues in the top that I was pointing out. I'm just noticing that now. I'm not sure. I don't think that every card has them on the, on the regular deck, but I'm not seeing them anywhere here. So, um, but you know, I love, I love having a nice small deck I have small hands. And again, for the commemorative deck, there is a hand size, a, a playing card size deck as well. Oh, there's one of those cards. There's one of those cards that just, uh, that they just put in there. Then this is actually, this is um, interesting. 
I forgot about that. So this small deck here, that one, which you get in a nice tin, has um, an extra card. I think it has two extra cards. And I can't, I can't remember. I didn't remember that at all. So there's an extra card. Like I say, I will just stick those in there and, and read them as an extra card. So you can see they're very similar, similar in look. And you know, in choosing, the reason I did these two decks is because in choosing these two decks, you know, you would want to choose these two decks, one of these two decks, if you like that old world kind of feel and that, um, you know, something that's opposite of the Radiant Tarot, you know, I mean, I love the Radiant Tarot uh, and, and there's some really beautiful, the Illuminated Tarot and there's some really beautiful clones out there, but, um, you know, it's just a difference in preference. And if you have a preference for this kind of old world feel, then these are the two decks that I would choose from. Uh, if you're just learning, you wanna make sure that you understand that you're not gonna have the names down here on the, on the cards or the numbers on the major arcana or the aces and you won't have the numbers on the minor arcana. So, you know, you get used to it, but you, you do have to be aware of that because it might trip real, real beginners up a little bit. Um, but I don't think it's anything that can't be overcome if you really like that look. Um, so anyway, I wanted to let you guys know because like I say, I teach classes and I uh, require in my classes, I teach with a writer, Waite Smith um, clone. And because I feel I'm, I'm one of those people who just feels that if you learn this deck, if you learn the writer, Waite Smith deck and learn it well, you can go and you can use 80 to 90% of the other decks out there on the market. Because I mean, there's a reason that this one is so popular. There's a reason why this one is a classic. And, um, you know, I, I just think that learning on this is, is really valuable. And then you can move on to other decks, all the cat decks. And, and there's a crow deck that I got recently that's beautiful. Uh, and uh, so this is the deck that I have people get when I teach my classes. Like I say, I'm teaching a class uh, starting in three weeks from Monday, which on June 22nd. I will put that information in the, down in, in the description. And I thank you for watching and go forth and have fun with your tarot.